Hey guys, welcome back to the wood shop. Today we're going to look at the rigid HD 1640 uh, wet and dry vac, shop vac, a lot of people call it, and whole shop vac's a brand. Uh, we're going to check this thing out, uh, and I'm coming from a one or a two gallon actual shop vac uh, that either had the switch go out or the motor went out, uh, but by the time I figured up parts and all that stuff, it was just cheaper to get a new shop vac. And my poor old miter saw is uh, kind of suffering for it. I've not had a shop back to clean that thing up, and I don't have it attached to dust collection. Most of those don't have good dust collection anyway. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, get right to this. Hang around if you want to see it. So as you can see by the sad state of this thing, I, I tore it apart, you know, just trying to see if we could fix the switch or see what might be up with it. And, uh, like I said, I've done a little research, found out it wasn't really feasible. Uh, but this kind of gives you a size comparison. Of course, we don't have this out of the box yet. Uh, but you can see how much larger the box is. And this one, actually I was wrong. This is a five gallon. I thought it was smaller than that one. Uh, sorry about that one. But this one is a 16 gallon, five horsepower. This one is a two horsepower, so significantly higher. So hopefully this thing will work good out in the shop. So let's cut this thing out of here. Now naturally, I know most of you are going to know, this doesn't have to be for a wood shop, but for me it's going to be for the wood shop. And I was not particular on this one as far as a particular brand, what which one I wanted to stick with. Of course, some of you know I'm pretty big fan of rigid tools so that just happened to work out but I would have been fine with anything because all I needed to do is clean up around the miter saw that kind of stuff uh, but just so happened I checked on Home Depot's website found this one for around sixty dollars and for the size and the horsepower you I couldn't beat that one uh, and I needed it anyway so it, it worked out good but one of my Favorite features that they advertised was the locking in. So the hose is going to come up here and it's going to snap. And if you decide you're going to roll this thing back and forth in the shop, it's not going to pop off like a lot of these do. So that was one feature I was real excited for. And I'm thinking this is a lot larger than my old one. This may hook right up to my, um, my table saw. Because I've not actually took the time to get adapters to go from my dust collector down to the size of my table saw because it's got kind of a small one. But we'll check that out before the video ends. So let's get to popping this thing out here. Now I'm going to assume everything is contained in the box here. Or excuse me, the vacuum. Quite quite a lot bigger and one of the things I noticed compared to my old one is how much larger this switch is and if you're not familiar with it they call that a rocker switch but let's see what's uh, what's inside here okay first thing you'll notice is the air filter in here uh, and I've seen a couple of things about this to where it's very easy to change. More like just kind of pop up on it when you need to change a new one or clean this one out. And then just push back down on there. It'll lock it in place. So there's the hose. Not sure what size that is, maybe five, six feet. And here's where we're going to get the attachments and the wheels that go on the bottom here. There's one of the pieces that goes over the wheels. And the, the good thing about this is too, this is 
this is made on each corner each wheel is going to have a place to put one of these attachments all the wheels those are fairly simple they just pop up in there probably with a little brute force I don't think those are coming out. And of course, being a rigid, and I'm not sure if 100% of their tools are, but uh, most of these come with a lifetime warranty. And what you need to do is register it. Uh, and of course, it usually comes with a little card that tells you where to go to and Ask for the model number, that kind of stuff. But after that, you're you're covered for life, and that that includes, you know, drills and batteries and a lot of other things. So, guys, a couple of little bits of info, and my wife pointed it out to me. Uh, brute forcing these, pushing on them is not the way to go. Uh, I, I silently struggled off camera here trying to get those things in there, and it was not working at all. Uh, of course, be careful with it. It'll get you a little dead blow hammer. Give them a couple decent wax and they pop right in there. Definitely much easier than the, the old arm strength. And second thing I wanted to tell you, especially if you have these popular little Delta table saws, this one is a 36-725. Uh, and I'm sure the what they call the T2 is the same. But the port on the back of it, I tried it off camera and that fits perfectly. So that's actually going to work out great because... I've, uh, as I said before, I've not took the time to get adapters to put that on there, and so I think that'll that'll work out great for that one. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and attach this handle on here. Should be fairly straightforward. A couple screws. Make sure I get it lined up just right. Oh, simple enough. Get them both started here. Now a lot of you guys have seemed to take to locking some of the tool videos we do uh, instead of the woodworking builds. Uh, so some of you be glad I've got actually counting this one probably about three maybe even four tool videos coming up before we do any more builds uh, so stay tuned to that uh, but this one I just I had actually, actually honestly debated on putting a vic video out on this one because I mean let's face it it's just a uh, it's just a vacuum cleaner or a wet dry vac I should say uh, but either way I didn't see a lot of videos on this one uh, matter of fact this particular one I only saw one more video so Maybe I just didn't search hard enough. But I thought I'd throw one more out there in case you're interested. Uh, if you'd like, I'd leave a, I'll leave a link to this uh, this back too uh, in the description. And this has a very long cord, which is nice. That way, that way you can drag it to more places across the shop. So let's get this thing lined out here and these are very straightforward just got a little prong sticking up there I guess you'd say and really once you get it in there there's only one way it'll go just Some light taps. And the good thing on this one too that my other one didn't. <clears throat> I don't really uh, suck up a lot of liquids in my shop here because I don't, you know, I'm not really fooling with a lot of chemicals. Uh, but it does have the drain on here in case you're using that maybe in a different type of shop. Of course you want to 
read those instructions as far as what you can you know suck up with this thing you definitely don't want to be sucking up no gasoline or anything like that you know water spilled or something to that effect is not going to be an issue enough. And I don't know if the camera's picking that up. To release this, you just push down on the, the back tab here and pull, pull out. Of course, naturally it's a little tight, so you may have to give it a little wiggle. But one thing it's pretty neat as well. There's about four tabs on here, so if you want to really cinch that thing down, just give it a good heave-ho, and that thing is going nowhere. So let's hook this thing up. We'll get, meet you over at the miter saw. Uh, as I said, I've not had a chance to clean that thing, so it's a mess. Let's go over and see how good this thing picks up. You can see here we're over to the miter saw and you can tell what a mess I've had here lately. Uh, not, not had a chance to clean it up with all the projects we've done. Uh, but just a little heads up, as with any shop vac I've ever fooled with, these are a little loud, so hopefully that doesn't distort the audio too much. Uh, but let's see how this thing does. Well, that cleaned that up very easily. It, it was sucking down through that sawdust uh, with no problem. Uh, plenty of power, especially when, when I compare it to my old one. And one good thing about it, this is loud, don't get me wrong, but it's not hardly as offensive, we'll call it offensive to my ears as my old one. The other one almost had a, <laughs> a screaming sound and this one is not too bad. Uh, and one thing I guess I didn't pay attention to uh, when I was installing the handle, I just didn't even put two and two together, but that is a very convenient place for a cord wrap, so you're not having to have cords hanging out everywhere. Uh, but yeah, uh, don't want to give a, uh, just an early review, but as of right now, I really like it. it it's got plenty of power. 
Uh, it's, I'm sure it's going to last me years and years and years. It'll do everything I need it to. Uh, so anyway, we're at the end of this video. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, like I said, we've got the subscribers we want. I'm um, hoping to get some views picked up on some some things, you know, not getting a lot on the build series, so we're going to try something a little different. Uh, but as always, I thank you for joining me for this video. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.